Mitch Wisnowski to get things going. And this one is underway here on EA Sports. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. Touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Bayless Jones now from his end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Mitchell now to kick off the drive. Pass the 20 for a short gain. Second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They'll look to throw. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Nine yards that time. This will be the game. It's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls, or sometimes something a little more improvised, as we just saw there. And he powers through the first wave, but he's going to be swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Open man here is Conklin. They wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try and pick it up with Mitchell. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Fourth and short, partner. I mean, this would be a really risky call. Here we are in the first quarter. They're of the field but boy what a tone setter that would be to go for and get it wouldn't it you really did that i like it i'm feeling it wishnowski on to punt as he sends this one away and he didn't quite have the back spin on that one it hits at the four and continues into the end zone it's a touchback The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. 
Yeah, well, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra injury. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice. But at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. Now second and seven from the 23. Here's Chubb on the read option. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 95 yards rushing now for Chubb, and a first down as well. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating him up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, You've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, not get loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackle. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Oh, it was hit at the line of scrimmage and intercepted. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, it turns out it's not their offense who gets him on the board first, CD. It's the defense coming through right there with a pick six. And I know from experience, when you go against the offense, you're challenging them all the time. You're not in that Don't worry about scoring this week. We'll take care of it. We'll get a few pick sixes and score ourselves. You're just kidding? But how about what he just did right there? Laid it out for the rest of the game. We scored. Hey, offense, can you keep up with us? start their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago and threw the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field for the chance to attack. Extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. Play action. It's Fields. Taking a shot for Samuel. And he's got it inside the 10. A big play there for Andy. 53 yards. Quite a show of arm strength right there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. Now it's Fields. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Kyle Pitts, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Colts have taken the lead. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. He's got a man complete. Pass the 20. Touchdown. Titans. A nice throw there by the 
second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of hurry and you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles. He's got a man complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Oh, that's good decision-making right there. Understood down and distance. Knew it wasn't third down, and he still had another opportunity to earn the first down. Good job throwing it away and avoiding an interception. To throw on second and ten. Fields. Now he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. Nick Chubb, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Colts have broken our tie as they take the lead. Two able to connect on the extra point. And the lead is now 21-14. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. On the return is Jones from the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled into 20. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Man open, that's Ray Ray McLeod. Who would a juke? A big play there on the catch and run. 71 yards. We know he's good at catching the football, but then after the catch, he's got escapability. Not only that, he's got some toughness as well, because you know his coach very hard to make sure he battles through, breaks tackles, and then they finish with, but don't fumble the football. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. That was an interesting look there, because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, Defense is right. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Elijah Mitchell, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Titans are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point right down the middle. We've got a tie game here. Back and forth first half. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line to the same result, and he opted for the touchback. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Off play action, Fields. And the Titan defense steps up here, and down he goes. It looks like a 12-yard loss there on the first down sack. That 
That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. He's got a man complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They'll send the tight end in motion left. They'll fake the handoff. Now Fields buying time to his left. And he'll just get rid of it. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game. It has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect. And try to pick up another first down. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. Throwing on third down, Fields. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Oh, nice defensive effort there, providing the hit as the ball got to the receiver. He separates him from the catch, and normally he's a sure-handed target. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. And now two problems as I see it. First, you missed the kick, which granted was a long one. But second, you set the other guys up a great field position and enough time to maybe get downfield and get a field goal attempt of their own. Meanwhile, this one knocked down in the backfield. It's incomplete. So much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Looks like that in just about every position. And sometimes, if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up at the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Got an open man, it's Valdez Scantling. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And the ball banked way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Give the Colts 13 yards and a first down. Now Fields winds up and lets it go for Samuel. This is intercepted. And the Titans are going to have it here at their own 15. The Charles is so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in the West territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll head down to Orlando. That's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis operating gun getting set for quarter number three here. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. A solid return, pretty good field position. they start at the 32. Ready, ready. 
Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense where we did in the first half. But on the defensive player, thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? First down, here's Mitchell. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Grant's territory. Brady Jarrett with the tackle. Running leads run a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Right back to Mitchell on second down. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. On third down, here's Mitchell. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's right in the backfield and goes backwards. He'll look to throw. He's going to let this one go deep. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Marquez Valdez Scantling with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Titans' decision to go for it pays off with six points. After a break down the middle, and they will take a seven point lead. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Well, Charles, you and I said in intermission, feels like we're set up for a good second half. Well, the other side scored, and now it's up to them to answer. How do they respond? He's got a man complete. Debo Samuel, 77 yards. And the Colts are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And we are all tied at 28. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. The return is Jones from the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And that is incomplete. As this old brain remembers, when I see five line receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. On second down, here's Mitchell. And from the 15, they're able to work this up to the 20 for a pickup of a handful. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. And he will bring it back. An interception return for the Colts TD. Coup now for the point after. It's up and good, and they've jumped back ahead, 35-28. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. 
And he will find his big tight end over the middle. All the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. He'll drop to throw. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Now back to throw. And this one too low. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down. Then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back. But it's a big play. They've got to hold up. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. Kayvon Thibodeau, he beat the O-line and recorded the sack. On now is the Titans punter as he's on here to punt it away. Now it's Lockett. And that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And CD, you know, sometimes you don't need those complicated game plans or the added wrinkles. The last time I think about it, couldn't have been any simpler. One play, one pass, touchdown. I know those coaches put a lot of work into this game plan, but I don't think they mind possessions like that at all. They just saved those calls for this possession instead. Meanwhile, Fields throw into the hands of Lockett. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 10. First down, A play fake, now Fields to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and a long way to go. Fields. That's going to be caught by Pitts. A big game there after going backwards, and that'll lead to a third down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Flushed out right. He lets it fly for Lockett. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. After what they faced during this game, where they've given up a ton of yards downfield, there has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion. Fourth down, Fields. He's going to take another shot here. He's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield, but when push came to shove, they stood their ground, and now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. Throwing again is Fields. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Fields now to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Debo Samuel with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Colts are about 
to make it four straight as they add to this fourth quarter advantage. Crew able to connect on the extra point and the lead now up to 14. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs. Because even if you have to... Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Richie Grant. And the Colts are going to take possession of the... I come alive in the dark And I keep getting stronger My limits the sky I do the impossible Hello, world All up boys and girls I got some true stories to tell You're back outside, but they still lie Whoa, yeah Take off the fufu, take off the cloud chase, take off the wifi Take off the money phone, take off the car loan, take off the flex and the white loss Take off the weird jewelry, I'ma take 10 steps, then I'm taking off top off Take off the fabricate streams and the microwave memes, it's a real world outside Take off your idols, take off the runway, take off the Cairo Take off the Sandro pay, five days stay, take off for the meal, hella fine. Take off the far flat, take off perception, take off the cop with the iPad. Take off the unload, take off the unsure, take off decisions I had. Take off the fake deep, take off the fake woke, take off the I'm broke, I care. Take off the gossip, take off the new logic, they're the fumble, I'm real. Take off the should nail, take off the doje, take off the broken bag. Take all that designer work off and what do you have? You out of pocket. Huh. Two ATMs, you step in the what? You out of pocket. Who you think they talk about? Talk about us. You out of pocket. Who you think they cover up? Cover up us. The word in the panic, the women is stranded, the men on the run. The profits are vanished, the law take advantage, the market is crashing, the industry wants. To sleep in the box while they making the mockery following us. This ain't monopoly watching for love. This ain't monogamy, y'all get it. Jumping on what the hell is that? I gotta relax when I feel. All my descendants, they come in my sleep and say I am too real. I'm done with the sensitive, taking it personal. Done with the black and the white, the wrong and the right. You hoping for change and clericals. I know the feelings that came with burials cries. You ugly. You out of pocket. Two ATMs, you step in the what? You out of pocket. Who you think they talk about? Talk about us. You out of pocket. Who you think they carry up, carry up us? Serving up for love, dancing in a job. Hell up to the big step, but never lose a count. Venting in the safe house. Venting in the safe Can I fit up my truth? I got nothing to lose. I got problems and poos. I can swim on my feet. Cameras moving whenever I'm moving. The family suing whenever I make. Murder is stacking. The president acting. The government taxing my...